Good afternoon and welcome to Arkansas Children's. I'm Rebecca Brockman. We appreciate you joining us live today. I'm joined by Susan Goolsby. She is a registered dietitian and she is also our clinical nutrition assistant director. And as you could see, Susan brought some healthy snacks and ideas for families while they're at home during this COVID outbreak. So Susan, welcome. Thank you. We know that most families and beyond are at home during this time. Yes. Um, so that means usually their children are at home with them and they are hungry, we, they're, they're needing snacks, healthy, healthy meals, healthy dinners, um, all three meals. So um, this can put some added pressure on families. So we wanna give them some tips and advice on how to prepare healthy meals, like you said before we started, that will stretch, that will last. Um, and keep them out of the grocery stores if we can. Um, so while we always encourage healthy eating, why is it especially important during this time? Well, healthy eating is, is what keeps our immune system strong. And so we don't need to, at a time where we're being attacked by this virus, to let our, our defenses down. So we need to continue to eat healthy throughout this. So this is a way to, to, to prevent COVID, which some of us don't, don't think about. It, by eating healthy, by uh, making your kids eat some healthy snacks, will keep them uh, healthier during this time. Let's talk about the basic food groups, and you brought a, uh, this really cool plate with you. Let's talk about how parents could use something similar like that at home. So the My Plate um, is really the healthiest way to eat for all people, not just kids. And it includes half of your plate from fruits and vegetables, a quarter of it from grain, and at least 50% of those should be whole grain, um, a quarter of it from protein, and we'll talk about some different proteins since the meats have been wiped out at the grocery stores, and then also dairy. And again, there are other dairies besides milk, considering a lot of grocery stores have been running low on milk. Um, you can have yogurt or cottage cheese that's mixed with some fruit, things like that, um, and also cheese. That's an excellent uh, demonstration, a good way to see what your plate should look like, and like you said, for families and for kids and adults. Um, so in addition to what they should be eating, what should they be drinking? I know my girls like to like juice and that type of thing. What are some rules about juices? Juice, the, it, by the American Pediatric um, association no more than four ounces of fruit juice a day because fruit juice has as much sugar in it as a coca-cola so um, we really recommend water um, and milk as the two go-to drinks the water can be flavored you can put just a tiny bit of some kind of fruit it could be orange or um, lemon or lime something like that in it or you can flavor it with a non-sugary uh, thing like Crystal Light or Mio drops. Okay. Something to make it a little more interesting for the kids. So water and milk. Okay, water keep, and milk. Keep that in mind. Families uh, and parents who are tuning in, we are live at Arkansas Children's. I'm with Susan. She is our registered dietitian here at Arkansas Children's, and she's giving us some healthy snack and tips uh, for families while they're at home during the COVID outbreak. So in talking about snacks, kids love some snacks. What are some healthy um, snack ideas? And you also have a recipe for us for families. Yes, um, because the grocery stores are so bare these days and um, some things that you might wanna stock up on for snacks would be popcorn. Um, you could get the individual uh, bags of Smart Pop, or you can just pop it yourself in a skillet or in a brown paper bag in the microwave. Uh, popcorn is shelf stable, it's going to last for a long time, so that would be a good snack idea. Whole grain uh, tortillas last a long time, as opposed to bread, which might mold after a week or so. And this, this is a recipe that is very visual and it includes several food groups, uh, dairy, grains, and uh, vegetables. And it's fun, the kids could help you make it. Um, you get a whole grain tortilla, some cream cheese, some spices, whatever uh, vegetables that they may like, shredded carrots, spinach, 
things like that. And then you put it, you spread the cream cheese in the tortilla and you put all the veggies in there and you roll it up and cut it and you end up with these fun little pinwheels. Um, they're really colorful and the kids like and they, they help make it so they're more likely to eat it. I like the idea of incorporating your kids in the kitchen and this looks like a simple recipe that they could help with. So I, lo I love that idea. We'll make sure to put that recipe in uh, our comments below. Um, so as parents head to the grocery store or if they've already have some staples on hand, what should they be getting at the grocery store or checking for in their pantry? Well at the grocery store, um, you need to remember that canned goods, um, canned vegetables, canned fruits, and frozen are just as healthy as fresh and they're going to last. Um, so stock up on the canned goods. Try to go for the lower sodium canned goods, but if they're not available, don't sweat it. Um, this isn't the time to worry about that so much. Um, fruits that are packed in water or fruit juice are excellent for kids, and I brought a couple of examples of that. Um, peanut butter, very, or any nut butter, it could be sun butter if there's allergies in the family. Um, they're shelf stable, good source of protein. Uh, canned beans, dried beans, uh, brown rice, other grains like quinoa, uh, things like that for just they're shelf stable, they're gonna last a while. We don't know how long all of this is gonna go on and how long the grocery stores are gonna be running low on things. So it's good to have things that are gonna last a while. I like that idea about keep staying out of the store and especially if yes. you have these staples. If you have any questions for Susan, please leave them below. I asked, uh, we have one about one more question for you, Susan. I asked you beforehand um, what three foods, top three foods, are your go-to to make sure they're either in the fridge or in your pantry? Um, and I forgot my answer, but I'm going to give it anyway. Um, fruits and vegetables, definitely that in there. Some kind of grain, it doesn't have to be bread. Um, popcorn is always my go-to snack. It's, it's a good whole grain. but for sure with kids, some type of dairy that they can eat. And you mentioned so. powdered milk, which I, I yes. had not thought about, and that has a long shelf life as well, so that might be handy to have on hand. Right, and yogurts have a much longer um, shelf life than milk does, so it, it would be good to have some yogurts, Greek yogurt. Um, it can be flavored with other things, um, peaches like the one that I brought, or pineapple, things like that. Excellent. Well, Susan, we appreciate your time and, sure. and your healthy snack and meal tips. Um, Jennifer did comment and said, love the pinwheel idea. Um, so thank you for watching, Jennifer. And uh, we'll make sure to include the recipe below. And I also want to uh, make sure to mention our 24-hour hotline. It is staffed with nurses 24-7. If you have any COVID-19 related questions or are concerned about the health of your child, it's one 800 743 3616 and then we also have information on our website so we want to provide the most up-to-date uh, information for you and your family during this time um, we'll be back this week and next with more Facebook live ideas uh, to keep your family healthy and safe during this time thanks for watching